Hi everyone, it's Aideen from 98FM Style and I'm here with Salog O'Halloran from the Abbey Theatre Costume Hire Department which is actually in a warehouse in Findlas rather than in town. Hi Salog. Hi, how are you? Thanks a million for giving us some Halloween dress costume yeah, advice. you're very welcome. Tell us a bit about the, the warehouse anyway and, and the, I mean it's, you've got a, a big setup here. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. So we have approximately about 22,000 items of stock here. Wow. Um, most of it has been collected over time from shows that were on in the Abbey. Um, some things were made specifically for certain shows. Some stuff is bought for certain shows. Um, over time, we've also d had donations that we've, we've uh, like required from different things. Um, but a lot of the stock we have here is from about the 1960s up. Um, a lot of the costumes range from the 1600s to modern day. So we would have a certain section from 1600s to the about 1920s that majority of the stuff would all be handmade specifically for Abbey, cost Abbey shows that were in the in the Abbey itself. An individual can actually get access to some of these costumes with through the Bram Stoker Festival this year? Yes, yeah, so we're having the Shapeshifters Ball, which is Body and Soul, it's on an IMA at the, on the end of this week on Saturday. Um, so basically what we're doing the first time ever, we're doing a pop-up costume hire shop, which means that we will be on site with a lot of the stock that we have here um, that is suitable. The theme is um, zombies and goths. So we're going to have a lot of different kind of range ranges of stuff on site and the customers can come and hire some of the costumes for the night so the, the rate is between five euros to 20 euros per item and they can take the costumes away uh, pick whichever ones they want then go and wear them for the event and then bring them back it's kind of a bit of a, like a Cinderella kind of a thing that they dress up and they can come back and and when change at the end of the night. Carriage turns into yes. a pumpkin. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to have a bit of fun this Halloween anyway. And yep. I normally go to the two euro shop and get a load of stuff that looks absolutely awful once I put it on. <laughs> so we'll have a look at a few costumes here today yeah, just yeah. to try and maybe think outside the box. Yeah, definitely. Outside the, the trunk. Yeah. Um, and for some ideas for people at home. So Salag, what do we call this fella here? I don't know what you'd call him, but he's definitely, we'd, we'd look at this as kind of a very broken down old zombie, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and why I picked this was that a lot of this stuff is something that you could definitely find in a charity shop. This coat, maybe not so much, but like everybody has either their their dad's stuff or their granddad's stuff or like a, a regular charity shop should have something like this suit that would be suitable. Um, and what what's really handy for stuff breaking down things is stuff like cheese graters, sanders, a bit of dirt, a bit of glue, a bit of paint. Um, it's not something that you have to go and spend a lot of money on, but like, what, what we were looking at here is that you know you can you can get your cheese grater is actually great or like a Stanley knife and things like that just to okay. cut into bits of the fabric mm -hmm. um, you can see there's a little bit of paint here mm -hmm. um, so we would always use acrylic paint because it doesn't come off um, and then things like things like your glue things like bits of dirt um, dirty down spray which obviously you wouldn't have but there's something that's that's something that would be suitable stuff like this would be like a three button vest which is very regular and one in the mill but um, it, it has been distressed to make it look very old mm -hmm. so what things are this like you can see it's been cut this has probably been dip dyed as well something that's really good for um, aging something would be that uh, to dip it into tea um, if you put salt in with the tea it keeps the colour okay. but if you want something to wash out uh, fingers crossed it would wash out that you just don't put any salt in with it so you just dip it into tea now this is more of a kind of a greyish colour so this you know wouldn't be very tea stained but you can see that like we have definitely got stuff like sanders and bits of like that just to kind of make it look a bit more rough and ready um, same thing as that with your waistcoat and with your trousers and all that kind of stuff it just is just go nuts with the scissors just go nuts with everything just go mad and like see how you get on obviously you don't want the stuff back to the way it was yeah. so be careful but like there is always stuff around the house you can always use but a shoe polish should be handy as well um, but definitely kind of household kitchen items are quite good for breaking down bits of costume and stuff like that so this this would be good for maybe a zombie yeah I poor, think homeless so. homeless guy, poor homeless guy Oscar Wilde in his Addy, penal anything <laughs> something something mad but yeah definitely for us like I was kind of going for this to me is a bit hocus pocus um, uh, which yeah. is my favourite Halloween movie I love hocus love pocus, pocus. Um, so somebody lit the black flame <laughs> candle yeah. so this is kind of like what was it Billy Billy was the guy that came yeah. out of the he was down in the ground and he was your, her boyfriend or whatever for years so I was that kind of this is what amazing. I'm channeling for this so yeah I love that of, suggestion a like, lot of rough and ready and kind of old style but you can definitely make it more modern you definitely can find like you don't have to have button down trousers or anything but it's definitely stuff that you can find in your charity shop any done stories and just dip it and make it look filthy and, and rough. So Salog, we've got uh, Bridie here. We do indeed. Um, this is 
one of the things I wouldn't necessarily encourage if you owned a wedding dress, but mm -hmm. there's definitely a lot of charity shops. There's one in Georgia Street that does have a lot of wedding dresses secondhand. Um, so what we've done... What kind of prices? Because like, I would have thought a secondhand wedding yeah, dress would still be kind of dear. To be honest, I don't know. I'm not too sure. But I definitely think like some charity shops would have maybe not go to the section on Georgia Street that yeah. sells <laughs> them specifically. Yes, yeah. But there could be stuff around. It doesn't mean you have to have specifically a wedding dress. There's no, a lot of but prom just a white dress. dress. A white dress, prom dresses, whatever you want. Um, but with this one, we had a show called Big Love and there was a lot of wedding dresses and that that all got destroyed. So with this one, what they have done, you can see little elements now of like your dip dyeing there. Mm -hmm. So you have your little tea staining and stuff like that. And uh, what's the best way is it to do tea staining? Is it just to get the tea bag and kind of dab, dab it? Put it in like if you have a sink, just put so uh, a little bit of warm water and then put um, two or three tea bags in. The more tea bags you put in, the darker the color is going to be. So test it out and see um, if you have also a cotton it's or linen, it's always going to like take the color better, okay. like a natural fiber. Whereas this one, as you can see, because it is like a polyester, it may not survive as okay. it may not take it as well. So you need to look at stuff like that. You need to consider all that kind of stuff. So I'd say the darker, if you have like a, a more synthetic fiber, go with the darker, darker stuff. Mm -hmm. And I still can't guarantee that you're going to get the color you want, but at least you might as well yeah. try. Yeah. Um, you're going to look messy, which is the You're going to look messy. That's it. You don't want to be prim and proper. Yeah. So with this one, it was a lot of like dip dyeing and kind of like just a bit of like, if, I don't know if you can see the hem of this, but it's completely destroyed and ripped to pieces. Okay. So again, stuff like your cheese grater and your, your knife and your scissors and uh, and don't be too precious about it. Like if you want to if really just go for it, is what I'd always say is just really, really try and and make it look as messy as it can. And what, what are we going for here? Are we going for Corpse Bride or what Corpse other bride, kind of... Corpse Bride, Frankenstein, oh, yes. Jilted Bride that's like been dragged through the mud, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you want. Carrie. But yeah, Carrie. See, loads of people do, for some reason, really love dressing up in distressed wedding dresses. <laughs> I don't know why. What's that about? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. But it is. We have a few of these, which we'll definitely be bringing to Shapeshifters that night. Um, and we'll have some very random veils as well that might, you know, you never know what they'll look like. Okay, yeah. excellent, yeah. excellent. Brilliant. So, Salo, I see we've got our good friend Dracula here. We do indeed. Um, this is slightly opposite of, of everything else I've showed you so far. This is a very clean, very well-to-do, very dapper man. Um, what we've kind of looked at here is that this is the type of stuff that you may not want to get wrecked, mm -hmm. um, but there is certain places like dress hire shops. People might, ha I'm sure people have loads of white shirts at home. This one is a little special. It's got its bibbed front, so you have its little shirt studs on its wingtip. Um, but again, like some of that stuff you can always find in charity shops. You might have it from some college ball that you went to or some work ball, the work do that you've had. Um, and then this is our very simple tailcoat and you have your little lovely little red cummerbund to tie in with your, your cape. So it's just, it's a, just again, a different look. It's something, you know, it's your classic traditional kind of Dracula kind of a look. Um, I always think Dracula was very well dressed mm. um, and you know deceptively nice looking yes. uh, so this is the type of thing it, it doesn't mean that you can't put fake blood all over it if you mm -hmm. want to or take it obviously from your face down but this is something that we just wanted to show that you can also you don't have to go filthy and mm -hmm. really really kind of broken you down up. you can dress up for this as well definitely. so you could just get a, a nice suit stick a cape yeah. on it yeah. or red cummerbunds yeah and like even something like this like this is definitely some of our own stock so this is something that you may not find in, in a regular shop um, unless you do go like I know places like um, the party shop or their fancy dress shop up on the top of Stephen's Green. Mm -hmm. Like they have a lot of stuff, so you can get capes there. But also, it's very easy to make a cape. It's something that you can just go into your your fabric shop and get a meter or two of of black fabric, of black felt, whatever you want to do, and uh, and just cut it up and and put a string around it and just tie it around your neck. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But I think if you're gonna if you're gonna look very well dressed, you might as well make a bit of effort as well. Sure. But again, something like this, like a red cummerbund, that's something you can just get a piece of red fabric and put it across your, your waist as well. You don't have to go crazy, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but it's just so does, does Dracula own this look or can can this be worked into any other character? I'm sure it could. Um, I know that if you watch things like Penny Dreadful, I think Dorian Gray oh, is yes. very well dressed. So I think that's something that you can kind of look at is that it doesn't have to be as Whoa. he falls over. <laughs> Come back here, you're drunk back, already. <laughs> um, so I think, uh, I definitely think you could, like you could definitely, like you could be, I don't know, someone that's very, very fancy and fabulous. You don't have to be filthy. Um, but at this present moment, I can't really think who else you'd be, but Dracula. Filthy or fabulous. Yeah, I filthy like or fabulous. <laughs> All that we see here is going to end up at the Shapeshifters. It is. Yeah, the Shapeshifters Ball, which is in Emma on the 25th of this month. So um, what we're doing is, that, like I said, we're doing a pop-up shop for it. So we are pulling the most the maddest things and the wildest things. The theme is uh, zombies and goths, but you can see also here there's loads of like zombies is a very loose term for a lot of things. So you can see that we do have stuff like, you know, your fur coats in bits of bombs there you do also have your distressed bodices and things like that if, to be a bit more hocus pocus um we also have things like your 
cool goth leather jackets, leather coats, um, and some also pretty wild PVC little bits there as well. Mm -hmm. It's like your, your 80s prom dresses. Um, wild colors, kind of fun, fun textures, basically little bits and bobs. We're kind of saying as well that it's more to enhance what you possibly have already. Um, we're definitely not bringing any shoes along or anything like that. So I would definitely say if there's something specific that you want, definitely call us about it. But we are, it's more kind of bring what you already have and we'll try and make it look better. Um, so again, loads of lovely uh, red fur coats as well. And this is one of my favorite pieces, which is a black fur tail coat. Ooh. Uh, you could try Pete Burns. You could go, yeah, you could be anything. It's gorilla coat. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So little things like that. Also stuff like, you know, your classic, your classic capes, your big, you know, your scary capes and all that kind of stuff. We have a lot of that stuff. Old style shirts, um, sparkly bits and bobs, your, you know, zombie lumberjacks, your, you know, goths, your wild goths and their silver. So there's going to be little options. There's also stuff like, again, you know, your masks as well as that if you didn't want to go to all the effort of put, you know, putting a big wild costume together, you could dress up whatever you want and put something like this on. So there's options out there. There's going to be options for everybody. Um, definitely first come, first served. Um, so get there early to get all the good stuff. But uh, we do, so we should have a lot of stuff there to, to suit everybody and everybody's styles for the night. Yeah.